Hi guys, it is time for a little update on um, taking a screenshot and sending it out to someone. Uh, the guys who are at home, usually you are the ones who <clears throat> end up having to do this because uh, maybe I gave you an assignment where you know you use Tinkercad and you have to show me kind of what you did. Um, it's a great little tool uh, if you are on a website or something and maybe you like something and you want to remind yourself what it is and you can kind of take a picture of it in a screenshot and it's saved in your images file and that way you can go back and see it whenever you want. It also uh, takes a picture of a web page that you might want to remember the name of the page you were on because you think it's cool. So it's super simple. Um, and I took a little, I'm on a web page right now where it sort of shows you the buttons uh, to take it. Really, all you got to do is you hold down the control button that you see here on your keyboard. And up here, you're going to just click on that and let it go. That button right there is the show all windows button, which we never use other than this. And it just so happens it's right above the number six. And it should be the same on pretty much all keyboards. So if you hold down uh, control and you hold down that key, it's going to take a picture. And it will actually show up if you're seeing where I'm circling down the bottom of my screen. If your machine is updated, it should show up down there. If I click on that, little those are little tiny pictures of uh, images that I've taken, screenshots I've taken already. And so they are sitting there waiting for something to happen. I can either get rid of them or I can open the files right here. You click on that. And all it's going to do is, well, let's do it. If I open the file, it will basically go to my files page where this thing lives. And it's on images. And there they are. I did a bunch of them. And there they all are. Okay. I'm going to show you how to get there in a different way in case you don't know. So let's pretend I took the screenshot. And so I held down control and the button that's right above the number six with the square and the little lines. And so now I got to get it to somebody. All right. Um, let's go see and make sure it's there first. The way to go see those files are you click on that circle here and then you click on the arrow. Right. And that shows you all the stuff uh, that's on your machine. And somewhere you're going to see, you notice I have like these dots off to the side. Those are other pages. So if I click on that dot, it gets me to another page of stuff. But you will find files. And if I click on files and I click on images, that's where those live. Okay, that's going to be important because uh, we need to know where that lives for when you send it to me using email. So how do you do that? Well, first thing you do is you go open your email. And I have a student demo account here that I use. And so I am going to click on Compose. And I'm going to say I'm going to send it to Mr. Thatcher. So let's start typing his name, TH, which would be my name. And then my name will show up. You can just click on it, and it'll put it on there. And I'm not going to put a subject. Well, I can say the subject is test, because I'm going to test this out. All right. Now, how do I add it? Well, I go down to this clip, paper clip here. It says attach files, and I'm going to attach that picture to that email. So I click on attach files. It will automatically go here to where your files live. And I have some stuff already on there. I'm going to go to images, and I'm going to click on the screenshot, and I'm going to hit open. And then maybe I'll say a little something like, here's my project. Okay, good luck reading that. And, and then I hit send. And it will send me the email you sent plus the picture of the screenshot. So the screenshot, uh, taking a screenshot has a lot of uses. Like I said, um, you can take pictures of stuff you want for Christmas or your birthday. That's always handy. Um, but it really is. It's, it's good to keep track of things you, you like and places on the web that you like. Or you can send your teacher stuff that you've done, or if you're having trouble and you're like, hey, the, my screen is stuck on this, and this is what it's showing. You can take a screenshot of what is on your screen and send it to me if you're having issues. So very useful. Okay. All right, guys, that is it. So take care, and I'll see you next time.
बाय